Okay, now we got our cube done. <clears throat> we have to do some calculations to turn this nice little cube here into a turner's block. A turner's cube. Okay, and the calculations are as such. First, you take the size of your cube. My cube <coughs> is two inches. Divide it by three, which is the number of cubes counting the outside, inside, and middle. So you divide that by three, and two inches divided by three equals 666 thousandths. It actually goes on and on. I probably should have rounded that off to 667. It's okay. <clears throat> so each cube is 666 thousandths smaller than the bigger cube before it. So, for my example here, for this cube, 2 inches minus 0.666 equals 1 inch. 334 thousandths. That's how big the next cube is. The center cube, 1.334 minus 0.666 equals 0.668. That's how big the center cube is going to be. And what I need to do is I had to take that 666 and divide that in half because, you know, the distance between. The first cube and the next cube is actually half of the 666, which is 0.333. So I took a compass and marked my little corners 0.333 away from the edge, put a little mark, and away from this edge, put a little mark where they intersected. Did that all four times. Made little X's, drew straight lines to join the X's. Did it again on this cube, 333, three, three, the distance between wall to wall. And uh, anyway, drew out my three cubes. And these circles here, the, out, the uh, OD of these circles is not that important. It's mainly for looks. I just uh, set my compass at what looked good. The first hole goes all the way through. That'll be a quarter of an inch big. Got that road up here. The next hole is 800 thousandths ID, so I'll take uh, 666 inches deep, 333 and 333, so it's uh, 0.666 deep. Uh, 750 drill bit, three quarter inch drill bit is what I'll be using. And I will uh, drill it 666 The next size, it's whatever the biggest drill bit I got. You know, so I won't have to spend too much time making this hole bigger. And this hole will be 1.660 ID, 333 thousandths deep. So once I get all those pilot drilled and then bored out to size, I'll do the other five sides. And when I'm done, the only metal that will be holding these cubes in place will be these, these little corner pieces right here. And it's about an eighth inch of this corner being held on. So what I will have to do is make a profile bit or a uh, undercutting bit for my lathe that's kind of shaped like an L. And I stick it in this hole and then dig it in uh, half of an eighth, 62 and a half thousandths. Dig it in 62 and a half thousandths, that'll take. No, I need to go the full eighth, 125 thousandths. And that will take off the excess metal off of these corners. Do that five more times but the difference is you have to work opposite you know first you do this the small block get these corners cut bigger block get these corners cut out and flip it over and do the exact opposite side 
and here and then here. When you do, when you do that, first you do undercut the small one. And when you get to your last side, you can be cutting the last four corners off and that block will float freely. Then you do the next bigger size and then that block will float freely and you'll have two floating blocks inside of a bigger block and nobody will have a clue how you did it. Unless they know how to do this. Here's the steps in order that they should be performed. In case you want to copy that down. And here's the example. You can use any size cube, but this is your formula. All right, I'm gonna get to work on this puppy. I sure hope it comes out good.